it's been a second since I've done one of these. Um, so this is a raw road trip talk for those of you that don't know. And basically I just kind of talk about whatever I have on my mind and whatever I'm, I'm thinking about as I'm driving across the country to some random location. So today I'm actually going from Southern California to Oregon. And I haven't been through this area of California before. The furthest north that I've been in California was Sacramento. So I just got to, I think it's called like Shasta Lake. I just went through that area and it was so cool and stunning. And I wish I had like photos or videos or something of it. But I don't know, I'd love to go back to that area and check it out again. And I still have probably like six more hours to go until I get to Oregon and it'll be my very first time in Oregon. So I'm excited to get that state checked off the list. I have a clinic that I'm teaching there tomorrow. I have Lynx and Newt in tow with me and I have, I guess, some stuff to kind of catch you guys up on. But while I was in Southern California at Hoof Prince, which is the barn that Roulette is at, I was doing kids camps and then we had like a wine and ride thing with adults because they kind of wanted to do a camp like thing. We did a confidence boot camp and then uh, I've just been teaching a lot of lessons here and there. I also flew to my first um, international horse training gig which you guys all saw, Turks and Caicos. But every barn and barn community there's always like barn drama and politics and gossip and whatever and I definitely don't, I don't know, I try not to feed into it because I just, life is too short and I don't want to waste time on stuff that I'm not even going to be thinking about a week from now. I'm really big in the mindset right now of you decide how other people treat you, right? So you get to decide what you tolerate, how you want to be treated, and basically, you know, if you don't like it and you don't appreciate it and, you know, maybe you've already expressed concern or if they're a person that's not open or like willing to better themselves. You don't really need them in your life and you don't really want that energy around you even if it's someone that's like not a close friend or family member if it's just someone that you're like in like a space with and they're giving you just like not good energy and they're not speaking to you the way that you want to be spoken to or treating you the way that you want you don't have to tolerate that and you don't need to tell them why you don't need to give them a reason you can simply leave and get that out of your life because that energy over time is going to wear you down and you're not going to be able to change that person. You're not going to be able to fix them per se. That's who they are and they're going to find people that work with them and that, you know, are good with that energy and have the same energy that, you know, that negativity and whatnot. But if you want a more positive life, don't let yourself get used like a doormat. Like, don't allow people to treat you any way that they want. Granted, you need to treat other people nice too. You need to be kind of a role model for them and be kind to others and always give them a chance and listen and hear them out and, and all that. Be able to take constructive criticism and all, but don't just let people treat you however. I don't know if that makes sense. So everyone at the barn was stressing out about this one person and then I popped into the conversation and I'm just listening and I'm like hearing them all get really frustrated about it and I'm like this is all of their good energy right now is just turning into this anxiety and stress and they're fixated on this one point when all they need to do is just ex that person from their circle, if that makes sense. Like not again, not in like a mean way or anything, but if that energy isn't lining up with yours and it's making you feel miserable and giving you stress, you don't need that there. And you're not gonna be able to change anyone if they're not already open and willing to listen and learn, right? If you feel like you have to tiptoe around them, that's not a pleasant feeling. You just wanna live life how you're gonna live it because it's too short at the end of the day. You don't wanna waste time stressing about things like that. You don't wanna waste time stressing about how can I word this message so I don't set this person off or how can I word it so that they don't get mad you shouldn't be living your life in fear for the sake of not setting off someone else like that's something that they need to deal with on their own and you don't want to take their problem and put it on your back and be freaking out about it and it doesn't make you a bad person like this person was like well they haven't given me enough reasons or it's been a bunch of like little small things. It's it's like there isn't really a, a turning point and that's, it's just not me to do that to someone. 
And then I can kind of counter it with like, okay, so then do you enjoy being treated like that? Especially when it's been going on a while where you're allowing this person to treat you like that. Because if you enjoy it, then I mean you can keep doing that. But it seems to be causing you stress and it doesn't make you a bad person to remove someone from your life. Again, not in a mean way, not in a nasty way, but fall out of touch with them. There's just so many, and I've found, I figured this out the more places I go and the more interactions I have, and maybe it's just because now my energy is different, so I'm attracting that type of energy more, but there's so many good people out there who are willing to learn, who are willing to like happily be called out like if I'm in the wrong and someone I want someone to feel comfortable telling me like hey what you told me or what you said to me wasn't cool or like what you did it would have been you know kinder if you did it this way and you know I want someone to be able to tell me those things and feel comfortable telling me those things and all the people I have in my life right now I almost have absolutely no problems no confrontational things because I'm aware enough on my own to hopefully recognize them because everyone's just constantly striving to be a better version of themselves every single day. I'm more self-aware now in the fact that it goes back to that saying from like third grade, treat others the way you want to be treated. And really if you're just kind to people and you have an open heart and you're willing to like just listen and hear them out and not cut them off when they're talking and not like get super angry and maybe take a second just to breathe and think about it, you're going to attract people who are the same. But you also, you know, at some point have to decide what you allow in your life and what you don't. And I think that made a really big difference for me. And then it made me less stressed over past friendships that I've had um, where constantly I was just trying to figure out, like, what did I do wrong? Like, because I would always put the blame on myself for those kinds of things. I would never see it as, like, a two-way street. I'd see it as one way, but it's always me that's doing something wrong and I don't know if it was me that would make myself feel like that or the people around me that would make myself feel like that you know what I mean I don't know if it was something that the people around me were doing it was probably a combination of both it was me kind of just putting that self-destruct button on and them also kind of going along with that and seeing themselves as the uh, person always in the right but now I don't know, there's not situations like that where one person's right and one person's wrong. It's more of like a discussion and kind of like talking about theories and philosophies and like seeing how you can become better and what changes can be made to benefit both people. I don't know. I just want everyone to feel as at ease in their mind as I do because I know what it's like to be living in like a panic. I was kind of joking about it the other day, how much anxiety I used to have. It was insane. I was, everything was anxiety to me. I'd be freaking out all the time and I used to be really, really slim and skinny and, and I was saying to a couple of my friends, I don't do my old diet anymore. That's probably why, you know, I've gained a little bit more weight and granted I've gained muscle too because I'm, I'm fairly fit and active, but I'm like, yeah, I don't, I don't do that diet anymore. And they're like, oh, what was the diet? I'm like, anxiety, literally that will drive you down. It makes you go into like kind of a manic, kind of frantic mode, um, which for me burned more calories off. So unfortunately I don't have that diet anymore, but the positives of it are way more. They outweigh so much more than uh, the diet aspect of it. It's really cool to see how my long drives since I started these in 2019, 2019, that fall and winter was kind of my turning point for like my self development growth journey where I've made like a super big leap and bound um, but I remember when I did my drives initially like it'd be so much I'd be thinking about so many things and like I still think about a lot now but it's like a relaxed thinking it's not stressed out it's just cool to see how that's changed over time where initially my drives were like, okay, this is, I'm worrying about all the things that I'm not able to do and, and then I have to make a list and then I need to do this and this and this and, and now when I drive, I get to enjoy everything that I'm seeing around me and breathe and I'm still coming up with ideas and thinking of things but nothing is like stressed or freaking out. I'm, I'm not like, oh shoot, this is the deadline, I gotta make sure I do it by then. Everything is like, really relaxed and it's so much nicer to live <laughs> so if you
kind of subtract those negative people from your life decide how you want to be treated and you've got to treat yourself good as well you have to be nice to yourself that's a big part of it too and that's going to help get rid of your anxiety which will help you be more at ease in your mind and make life so much more enjoyable at least that's what i found that's what i've kind of figured out i don't know what else i want to talk about i think that was the main thing i don't know that's just what i was thinking about today I just wish that everyone could be kind to themselves and kind to others and open to hearing others out and knowing how to present yourself in a kind way. It's almost like taking the emotion side out of it, per se. Or at least it's not taking the emotion out, but it's not expressing your emotion through your actions or your like tone of voice, if that makes sense. Now, if it's something you're working on, like I had an interaction with a friend a couple months ago and we were both talking about something and like I got pretty emotional, we both got pretty emotional, but we were like, this is like, matter of fact, open discussion, like you're telling me how you feel, I'm telling you how I feel, you're saying how you interpreted it and I'm saying how I interpreted it and we want to make sure that we both know we're open to each other, but we are both crying and like getting upset and scared and embarrassed and nervous so whatever expressions we had coming through we just made sure we reassured each other like like sorry we're just I'm just working through this but I want you to know I'm open to listening to you and I'm hearing you and I'm taking what you're saying and I'm really putting it into consideration I guess I shouldn't say be emotionless but make sure you're able to control them to a degree and explain that you're you know, you're working on it. And then on a random side note, I always do this when I'm going on trips. I'll use my voice to text feature and I'll send out messages because like I said, I still do a lot of thinking when I drive. <laughs> and a lot of times I'm thinking about all my friends because I have people all across the country and I don't get to see them all the time. And you know, the older you get, the less it's like getting to talk to them every single day. Maybe it's once a month or twice a month or something. So always make sure you, you put a sentence out there and reach out to people every once in a while, like if you're thinking about them, just let them know that you're thinking about them because it could mean a lot to them. Um, I don't know. Whenever I send that out, I always get at least a couple people back that were like, I, I really needed that. Like I really just needed to hear someone was like thinking about me and, and I do, I care a lot about my friends and I want to let them know that. So make sure that you let your friends and your family know that you care about them. I hope you guys are enjoying your day or do enjoy your day. I don't know when I'm uploading this or if I even will, but I am uh, probably about five hours left. I'll get in when it's dark and get the ponies unloaded, but I will catch you guys next time.